Yeah. Keenan, can you tell me how, how, how does it feel to, to win gold? Man, it always feels good. But this tournament was a little different because I went up two weight divisions. And I'm not quite a true super heavy yet. I'm working on it. My plan was to come in weighing 215. I was around that weight like last week. But like with competing yesterday, it's hard to eat on competition day. I weighed in like 210. And I'm feeling it in my arms, the extra muscle, like it's tiring, you know, like fatigue. But I plan to stay at this weight and I'm gonna get better at it and get more comfortable. I think it's a good division for me. So this is my third and ms title. The first year I closed out, but I still count it. And the second time was at middle heavy and now super heavy. Can I get your thoughts on the match? A really tough match there. Oh, yeah. Mohammed's super good. Can we sit down? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm dying standing up right now. Uh, um, I've never faced Mohammed before, but I've seen a lot of his game. I know he can be really explosive, but whenever you have an explosive big guy, they only do it like once, twice, or if you're Bushesha, three times per match. So I kind of had to wait for the explosion. He chose to do it at the end. I was expecting it at the beginning. Um, sometimes if you can get a point lead with the beginning like, explosion, it's easier to ride out the rest of the match. But he chose to wait till the end, which I mean is a good strategy. He almost passed at the end, but I still had a lot of energy to defend the explosion. And um, I was just playing my lapel guard, which the only person who shuts it down is Leandro. <laughs> so uh, I'm always confident in it. Um, but yeah, as far as the other matches went too, like I fought Tim Spriggs. My first round opponent did show up. Um, but I used to have a rivalry with Tim Spriggs. He beat me. I think he only beat me once, but it was like a really important fight. It was like for third place at Worlds. And uh, so it felt good. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Pleasure to fight you. Um, so yeah, in those matches I was pretty dominant in all my other matches except my match with Leandro. So it felt pretty good. This was a close one, obviously, but that's how it is. And it's the best guy. Yeah. You mentioned Leandro. Can I ask you about Leandro? Of course, yeah. about, about that match? Did, yeah, do, yeah. Do you know what, what went wrong? Or? Yeah, I, I've already watched it a couple times and I felt in the beginning very in control of the match when I was on top. Um, I think he wasn't ready for my newfound strength and pressure passing that I was applying and uh, I was impl implementing a lot of unique grip control that I come up with specifically to shut down Leandro's guard. Um, and in that moment of control, like, I felt like the match was really going my way. At one point he stood up and I pulled guard. And then I swept him with my squid guard. And I was like, okay, he doesn't know, he doesn't know about squid guard yet. So I, squid guard, I was like, okay, I'm gonna win with squid, squid guard easy. And then towards the end of the match, he started to adapt to it like on the fly and started like defending squid guard. I was like, what the, how's this happening? And uh, while I was like fishing for my grip to get, get it back, he went for his like, he just did like a good burst. Got double unders like as I was like a mid grip switch, so like I, lo I lost control on one side, and he just happened to go at that exact moment that I lost control of the lapel, reaching for the sleeve to defend his pass, and he just stuck me like a pancake real fast, and it was just the perfect moment to attack. That was the first time he's ever passed my guard, even though we fought like seven times or something. Um, so that was kind of disappointing, but in the other parts of the match, I did feel like I made a big improvement against him, and in the future, I think uh, I just need to watch out for his dangerous passing, which has always been dangerous, but over the last few years, he hasn't been like as explosive as the passing, I noticed. So like, I think I was kind of not respecting it as much, which was a big mistake. I gotta be more aware. And also, like, I'm still growing into my new weight. Like, I got, I've only competed at this weight this one time. So I definitely feel different. I feel like the movement's different. I feel like my body's different. So I have to like kind of relearn some stuff. And that'll just come with time and competition. And I think for Worlds, I'll be really comfortable here, so. This was a good trial run at this weight, and I think it'll improve over the next few months. You gotta think that you guys will possibly meet at Worlds. Is that something that, that you want? Yeah, yeah, ideally I would like to. Like he's, there's a reason he's in the top one and two spots. It's because he's like one of the best guys. It's like him and Bouchesha are like the best guys, right? But I think Le Leandro's smaller, so I give him like the edge as far as like pound for pound, you know? So yeah, I mean, I wanna be able to beat those guys. Like I'm right there. Like right on the brink, I feel I'm the only American that can really like contend with those guys. So I really got to hold it down for us, and uh, it's kind of on me. The weight's on my shoulders. I got to carry the rest of us. Um, but yeah, I want to be able to beat those guys. That's what it's all about, you know. But right now, 
go back to training. I was give, obviously giving a lot more time to weightlifting, but now that I put on the mask, I'm going to be back to training more. I'll have better cardio at the next tournaments. I definitely neglected some cardio. I felt it out there, but it was necessary to put on the weight. So um, in the future, I'll try and balance that a little better. better and, uh, yeah, that's it. How are you going to celebrate uh, tonight? Oh man, I'm gonna sleep. I was sleeping so much. After the match yesterday, I slept 13 hours last night. I went to bed at 9 p.m. and woke up at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Maybe with the time change it was different, I don't know. But it felt like a really long time. And then I fell asleep in my car. I fell asleep when I got here. I was just sleeping the, all, the whole time. So I still feel tired. I'm probably just gonna sleep. I'm not gonna celebrate. In fact, the, the, what would have deserved celebration is the double gold. But gold in my division, I kind of like, I expect that of myself. Like obviously it's not guaranteed, but if I win gold in my division, that's like, okay, you did what you're supposed to do. It's not like a huge accomplishment for in, in my eyes. I mean, obviously it is, but it's like, that's my mentality of it. But double gold would have been really awesome. Or even in the finals, I think I should have been on the opposite side of Leandro. I think I definitely was second best in the, that, that open division. Uh, but the way the bracketing system works now, it's like, the, it goes current championships of the year, and then by your ranking, and then by previous championships, I think. So because I bowed out to Lucas at Europeans and he got the written title, technically he's second seed. And because he's second seed and he's Atos, I'm instantly put to fourth seed on the opposite side of him because we can't be on the same side. So I got seeded fourth in this, and that's like, it kind of it cost me the finals, I think. Uh, but it's okay, whatever. Like, if you want to win, you have to beat everyone anyway, so that's why I don't really care. But uh, it would have been cool to be in the finals. Um, but yeah, I just gotta train harder. Gotta try and beat Leandro. That's all I'm really working for right now. <laughs> Anything else you wanna say? Um, no, just thank you to my sponsors, Hyperfly. They've been taking care of me for a long time. These guys are the best. Spider, these guys are sick. A uh, Korean ski brand, Muscle Farm, and the Armbar Soap Company. Thank you guys. And to my family, my mom, my two sisters, my, both my dads, my stepdad, my real dad. They're always there for me. And uh, yeah. Thanks so much.